What's going on, guys? Fans of Combat Sports Central, we are back at you live. The NFL Draft is tonight. I will be streaming tonight. This video will probably come out well. I'm actually streaming, but nonetheless, we are over on JFT OGK. Link in the description below. Streaming a live companion for the NFL Draft. But this is Combat Sports Central, so we're talking everything MMA. And we're talking the two cards that we have tomorrow night. We have two cards tomorrow night. That is Jack Hermanson versus Jacques Ray Souza for the UFC. And then Bellator 228, I believe. And we have John Fitch versus Rory McDonald. Both cards are looking damn good. Both cards got me hyped up, and I'm very, very excited to watch both and give you guys my predictions today for the main event of both. And let's start on the UFC side of the board, and we're starting with Jacques Ray Souza, the probably one of the best fighters in the UFC that has never gotten his shot at the title, and then against Jack Hermanson, an up-and-coming superstar who has just submitted David Branch with a wonderful in-arm guillotine choke that finished, that beautifully finished it, a surprise to me. And this fight will be a surprise if Jack Hermanson wins. I've seen Hermanson's losses, and they're kind of a little upsetting to the point that I'm going to give you this. Jacques Ray Souza, he's been in a couple fights where he was guaranteed the title if he were to win. I'm just going to give you a couple examples. He lost to Kelvin Gastelum with the belt on the line. He lost to Yoel Romero with the belt on the line. He lost to Robert Whitaker with the belt on the line. Obviously, the belts weren't actually on the line in these fights, but the belt was there for him to take. The belt was in the next step. The next step was the belt. And he had so many opportunities to do it, and he never did it. So nonetheless, this is just, it's undoubtedly, I think that I'm going to go with Jacare, Ronaldo, Jacare, Souza for the win because of his talent. But I think in the position that he's in, he's kind of, I'm looking at him kind of to lose the fight. And he's going to lose it, I think, in the first round. Jack Hermanson, my official pick on the channel, is going to be Jack Hermanson because... Jacare can't be trusted in the big moment that he gets he gets the title in picture, he gets the title right in frame, his zoom is perfectly on the title, and then he fails out, he loses. He's done it so many times. The Yoel Romero fight where he was going to get a title shot. The Robert Whitaker, he was going to get a title shot. He goes on these runs, he looks like a world beater, and then Ray, when he gets the shot at the title, he can't complain. He beats Chris Weidman, he wasn't promised the title. Now he's getting promised the title, and this is when he kind of comes up a little short. I like Jack Hermanson on the feet, I like Jacare Souza on the ground. So therefore, if I'm also going to look at the last fights on his list, he's beat Robert. He lost to Robert Whitaker via TKO. He lost to De he beat Derek Brunson via KO, both on the feet. He lost a split decision to Kelvin Gastelum, which majority of the time stayed up on the feet. And then he beat Chris Weidman in a fight that never hit the ground. This is what I'm saying. Jacques Ray's not playing to his strengths here, and I think that's going to be the deterrent for his title reign. That's going to be the deterrent where he's never going to get to see that title. I don't think he gets the title, and I don't think he's going to get his next fight being the title, and therefore I'm going with Jack Hermanson to win the fight. This is an underdog pick on my part, but I think a lot of people are counting Jack Hermanson out because of the fact that he's actually he's had some tough losses on his career. Nonetheless, for me, though, it's that moment that Jacques Ray hasn't proven himself in, and I'm one of those guys, you got to prove it to me before you can really take it from me. So I'm going to say Jacques, Jack Hermanson, who's on a three-fight win streak, David Branch's biggest win via submission guillotine choke only 49 seconds into round number one. Then we have fight number two, the fight, main event number two. We have John Fitch taking on Rory McDonald, and the fight, it's hard to pick this one. I'm obviously going for Rory McDonald, the Canadian, but when his coach came out for us, a hobby came out and said... John Fitch is a steroid head. He, he's never done anything good because he's on steroids. That's the only reason he's notable. That's the only reason he's done anything in his career. He's, he was a good fighter, but then he fell off. He was an average fighter and a below average fighter, and then he somehow got this skyrocketed. And what he was talking about is true. If we go and take a look at John Fitch's career, if we go and take a look at John Fitch's career, I'm not going to say that Faraz Zahabi is false in his claims. Maybe he might be true. We look at his career... He lost to Paul Harris. He lost to Berkman Maya. He lost to Johnny Hendricks in six fights. He was four. In seven fights, he was four and three. And then he beat Yushin Okami. Then he beat Zeferino. Then he beat Shields. Then he beat Paul Daly. Then he beat Brian Foster. And if you're going to say, and these are all good competition in the World Series of Fighting and Bellator. So if you're going to say that he's made his career on steroids, this was right after he popped and apologized for being on steroids. Now, whether he's on steroids now, being out of the UFC, being out of that USADA pool, I don't know. But that looks like an excuse to me from Varas Sahabi, man. He's setting up to have an excuse if Rory is to lose. I'm sticking with Rory McDonald on the fight. I think a unanimous decision in his last fight against Paul Daly doesn't help him. I think that Rory McDonald, coming from the UFC, is the best 
fighter in that division in Bellator, maybe even in Bellator, besides Gegard Mousasi. He's probably number two because they just fought, and clearly we saw the winner of that one. I'm going to go with Rory McDonald, but I'm, I'm again, if we get to see a John Fitch win, don't think that the steroid allegations are just going to disappear. They're going to pop up, and they're going to pop up big. And nonetheless, there's going to be some heat going into this fight, maybe some heat at weigh-ins, some heat in the corner between the corner and John Fitch. I'm excited for this fight. Nonetheless, it was it's good heat for Bellator, but are we going to see Rory lose the fight? Is that what they're setting up for? I don't know, but we're going to get to see. That's my prediction for the, both the main events this weekend. You let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Am I off my nut? Do you guys think Jacare Souza is obviously going to win this fight? Do you guys think Rory McDonald's obviously going to win this fight? Do you think John Fitch doesn't have a shot? Let me know that and more in the comments section below. Anything you guys want to talk about. We're thinking about doing results videos for both those cards. We'll be taking a look at topology, topology for updates in many other cards that maybe we'll bring you results for. We'll check out the talent on the local scene, bring you guys that. And another, on another note, outside the main events, Charles Jordan, who we covered in our TKO 47 results video a week ago, he was signed to the UFC and he's going to take on Desmond Green at UFC Rochester on May 18th. And we're going to get to see a superstar of Canada, a superstar of TKO, a champion of TKO, um, compete inside the UFC octagon, being on UFC Fight Pass, making the easy move over, and I'm excited to see that one as well. Just letting you guys know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button, hit that sub button, but that does it for me today. Make sure you join our stream tonight or whenever I upload this video, if it was yesterday, tonight. If it's tomorrow, if I'm uploading this on Saturday, we're going to be streaming later tonight for the fights anyway, so make sure you jump over to uh, the other channel, this channel, find the stream, be on the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!